Hello, today we're going to go through and show you guys how to use the new social dash dashboard multiple credit card feature. Everything that you're going to see up until the payment page is exactly the same. So you're going to go into your back office, go to the social dashboard, and when you're ready, you can close the social. So now I have all of my order forms in front of me, I have my credit cards, and all the information I'm going to need to start the social and finish it in one sitting. Um, just to save you guys some time, we went in and added a couple orders here. So you can see that I have uh, you know, a couple lockets and, and some other things here, and I have a $449 subtotal. Um, it says I need 51 more dollars to get my hostess promo item for the month, uh, but I don't have another order, so we're going to go from here. So you guys all recognize this proceed button and I'm sure you're familiar with the half price items page. Grab some half price items here and we'll continue on to the free items page. We can use these or we can store them for later. Um, just in the interest of time, I'm going to go ahead and bypass this page. If I had a $500 social, then I would see the hostess promo items page here, but since I had just shy of 500, I'm going to go right to the social checkout. Here I can enter all of my shipping information. We'll throw some test information in for today. Let the page refresh to update the tax information. And click ship to this address. And you'll notice that because I don't have a real address, uh, none of the UPS offers are here like ground and second day or that sort of thing. So we'll go ahead and choose the postal service and uh, make sure that you read this note. It's very important that this is the page of no return. Once you get past this page, you can no longer go back and edit the order. So if I want to right now, I can go back to the social dashboard and, and leave and I'm fine. And I, can, I still have my existing social here. I can go in and close. And I can create a, a new order if I need to, if someone else decided they wanted to sign up right at the last minute. Or if I wanted to go back and edit one of these orders, I can also do that. Um, but it's very important that you know that once you get past that shipping information page, that you cannot go back and edit the order. So we want to be very careful that once we're at this page, all of our free items, our half price items, and the social items themselves uh, have all been taken care of. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the same information. Click ship to this address. We'll wait for the page to refresh. And now I know. I went through, I double checked, I even triple checked and I can go and say yes, I want to proceed. So once I click yes, I'm going to go past the shipping information page and now my order has been created. If I go into my hostess report, I can see that I have an incomplete social order waiting to be paid for. And so this is the point where we want to sit down and go through all of those order forms and get all those credit card numbers um, and, and put them through right away. I would say 90% of the socials are going to happen exactly like they used to. Just add in the entire total if you have uh, cash or checks or if you uh, have the square card reader and put it all in your card. It's going to make your life a lot easier. You don't have to sit and enter more credit cards. But if you like the idea of entering multiple credit cards, this is the place to do it. You just enter the name on the card, the email address, all the card information, make sure it's perfectly accurate. Then you're going to type in the amount. So say our first guess is uh, only paid for $140. I would type in $140 and then click apply. Once I click, click apply, I will see a payment um, verification box that's going to pop up in the top and it's going to say, you know, this card has paid this much. So then, you know, say if you drop your order forms on the ground or something, you can actually go back and look and say, yes, you know, these three payments have been made. I have these two cards left to charge. There's no way you can get lost. It actually gives you a nice little record uh, right here. And the reason why we can't process these orders is because uh, we don't have a real credit card to use right now, but um, you get the idea. Once you get uh, this remaining balance down to an, uh, a zero amount. So say you have $100 left and you put that 100 in and you apply your last credit card 
then the page is going to refresh and it's going to take you to the thank you for your order page and you'll be good to go um, and the order will go to accepted um, instead of being incomplete and it will get shipped to, to you. That's the new multiple credit card social dashboard functionality and we hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching.